Lexi Suter is live with that part of tonight's story. Lexi. Allison, five people, we are told they are male employees. They were shot and killed by that gunman today. Then police officers, five police officers, as they were responding for help, they were also shot. Two of them in Chicago tonight, they were airlifted for treatment. But I want to give you a look at the couple hours following this chaotic and tragic situation. This evening, Aurora police asked the families and friends of those killed to come to the student center at Aurora University. Security was very tight there. No one was let in, but the family and friends so they had a safe place to grieve together. Police still not releasing the names of those who died tonight, but they say all five are men and they died inside the plant. There is one employee though who suffered a gunshot wound, but was brought to a hospital here in Aurora and is expected to be okay. I want to give you a breakdown now of how the hospitals played such a key role in helping people today. There were seven victims split between Rush Copley, where three people were. Mercy Hospital, where I'm at tonight, took two victims. An advocate, Good Samaritan, and advocate Lutheran General each helped treat another victim. Now, as for the five officers who survived, I am told they are in stable condition right now. One of them, I think Phil mentioned this, is going into surgery. The police department still staying quiet so those families can help them heal. We should learn more about them tomorrow, but a small, uh, great piece of good news that we can end on this horrible, horrible day. We're live at Mercy Hospital. Lexi Suter, NBC5 News. That is the good news.